hell, Bulls. 1974. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. What happened is true. Now the motion picture that's just as real. That's right, guys. The Texas Chainsaw folded poster. Huh, I bet you're asking yourself, is this the Bryanston release or the Orion release of 1980? Is this the original 1974 or 1980? It looks pretty clean. You know what I'm saying, guys? Looks real clean. Now, you know, there's a few pinholes. You know, there's, there's this right here, you know, where it's kind of gotten wet, I guess. There's a stain right there. I'm going to ignore that. You know, there's a tear right there, a little bit of staining. Look, guys, this is pretty clean. This looks like a 1980 Orion re-release poster. You know, where there's a lot of them out there. You know, you'll be like saying, oh, that's not in really good shape for a Orion re-release. You know, that's solid. Hope you didn't pay too much for it. Hope you didn't pay more than 40 or 50 bucks. Right there. Dude, there's, a, there's a hole right there in the middle. Man, it looks pretty beat up for a 1980 re-release. You know, it's got some hard fold lines right there. There's a little hole. Ah, oh, right there's another little tear. Oh, it hurts. Ah, oh. guys, but you know what the good news is? It's a 1974 Bryanston release, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre poster, in pretty good condition, folks. There's there's not many Jim Mint tins in this group. All right, now don't don't hate me because you dislike me. Hate me because you want to be me, all right? Out there in horror movie world. You know, I could be that guy that drops $50, $60 on, you know, each, on like 20 posters, you know, or I can just pile up my money and get one great fucking poster for a great fucking deal. That's what happened here. I don't need every horror, mo every horror movie poster ever made. I need the big guns. And right there, mission accomplished. Frame is on the way. It's a pleasure to hold history in your hand. This is history right here. This is the horror movie that changed the game in the mid 70s. This is up there with Psycho. This is up there with Jaws. Just a game changing movie. Right there guys, I, you can hear the phone going off because I just got this out of the mailbox and unfold it. And I'm just admiring the beauty of this fucking movie poster. Come on now, I'm not the man. Like I said, don't hate me because you dislike me. Hate me because you want to be me. Oh, that's right, guys. You just gotta get the big guns. You don't have to get. You don't have to get Mad Man. You don't have to get a uh, Choppy Mall. You don't have to get the Monkey Shines poster. You can if you want. If you want quantity, go ahead. I'm happy for you. But I want quality. Oh, look at that beauty, guys. <laughs> I know, I know. It's beautiful. Soak it in. Rejoice in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 1974. Oh, guys, I know. You know, I made my bed for this poster. Yeah, I know. Amazing. Oh man, just give you another look, cause I know you want to soak it in. I want to know, I know you want to know what it feels like to have this on your bed. This is like having Kate Upton on your bed, really. But it's a Texas Chainsaw Massacre poster. You just want to stare at it. You just want to enjoy it. You just want to know that you have movie history in your freaking bedroom. One of the most important, influential movies of our time. And it's laying on my bed. It's waiting to be framed. It's begging. Gosh, should I get this signed or not? That's the dilemma I'm having. Because, you know, I got the... You know, I got the, um... Return of the Living Dead, it's all framed up. It's non-reflective glass. I gotta fix that. I know I slacked on it. But should I do that with this? Got that. Got this. Let me know guys. Sign or not the sign. That is the question. Let me know. Comment below. Tell me how much you love this poster and how lucky I am to have it. Peace out.